just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Start us off, first question came from my guy Gareth And appreciate you being a patron He said, Aaron Graven, can you tell me what it was like watching the game live? Uh, if you're referring to the Bucks game oh, you, I think you actually mean like just being there um, It was good, it, it, it's always fun I um, always tell people if you get a chance to go to see a game live Take it, take it, take it, take it every time um, Because you, you never know when those opportunities are going to come about uh, especially if, like for instance, for Ravens fans, if you're a Ravens fan and you don't live in Maryland and Baltimore or whatnot, DC, you don't live up in that area, then it and they come to your state. If if you can go, go, uh, make it happen if you can, cause it's it ain't nothing like it, man. And even if you live in an if you live in an area with a football team and an NFL football team or college football team, go. Go for the experience because it's a lot of fun and you won't regret it. Now, it makes it even more fun when your team wins. And for me, personally, I hadn't got to see the Ravens win in person since week two, 2019, against the Cardinals. That was the last Ravens game that we went to in person and they won. So it was a nice, refreshing feeling to see them beat the Bucks and beat Tom Brady. And Lamar most likely uh, be undefeated against Tom Brady forever. Uh, but anyway... Um, his next question was, uh, do you think we should trade for Brandon Cooks? It would be something the Ravens would do. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Thanks for reading my question, and have a great day. Ooh, Brandon Cooks, that's a, uh, that's a tricky one because he's a veteran. He's an established veteran. He has been productive. Um, oh, no, he, but he's 29, so... He he be pushing it for 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 Raven receivers now, but uh, he ain't cause he ain't hit that benchmark yet. He ain't hit that thirty two year old benchmark yet. And I know Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins was an anomaly because he was young, but he was young. His, his he was technically young, but his body was just had been through it, so his body was older. But Brandon Cooks, ah man, I mean Packers probably gonna get him before the Ravens end up getting him. But mm mm ah. Productive guy, yeah. Everywhere he's going to, he done produced. He's been with the Saints, been with the Rams, been with the Patriots. Where else he go? Oh, and yeah, then in Texas, of course, now, because he's there now. <sighs> but then I, I keep seeing the, the, the 5'10". The 5'10", that, that part right there, that part is like, uh, And we're actually going to talk about that in another question on this episode as far as part of the Ravens' philosophy. Um, I... You are right. I, I could see the Ravens making a move for Brandon Cooks. I would just rather a bigger receiver, bigger body receiver, because um, I feel like that's what would help Lamar the most. That's what would help the offense the most, um, because you see, who does Lamar trust the most? On this offense Who has he always trusted the most On this offense And it's no coincidence It's Mark Andrews Since Lamar was a rookie Those two They came in together And they've been doing their thing From as soon as Lamar got inserted into the lineup Boom They took off And the rest was history But why? Why? Why do you think that? It Well Mark Andrews is good he, His hands are His hands are good um, he made he done made a lot of plays for Lamar over the years. Lamar done made a lot of plays with him. They got good chemistry. When stuff breaks down, when the plays break down, Mark Andrews isn't just like, okay, well, play broke down. Let me just stand here. No. He moves around, he runs around, he comes back to help Lamar. We've done seen it plenty of times. Um But he's a he's a big frame. He's a big target. So what he's like six five, I think. Uh but that's the type of receiver. I know that six five receivers, they don't just come out of nowhere. But I feel like a bigger frame would be best for Lamar to add to this offense. And if it's not a bigger frame receiver, then somebody who plays like it. Um, we all saw the DJ Moore play uh, in the Falcons game. Um, I know some people got frustrated because he took off his helmet. I'm like, man, no, man. I ain't let that man take off his helmet. He was hyped. He just made a huge play. Uh, but Brandon Cooks, I mean, because Brandon Cooks 5'10", DJ Moore is 6 feet. So it ain't like he a bigger frame receiver. Uh, he plays big, but uh, I, I mean, it, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. Um, that it wouldn't be my preference. 
but it couldn't hurt, I guess. Um, so I mean, but it would be a very Raven-like move. But uh, it wouldn't wow me. But I mean, who, who am I? I mean, they don't, they don't care about my opinion of being wild or not. Um, but I just, it would be a very Raven-like move. Uh, but yeah, I, mm, I don't know. But I just, I, I, I don't, I really don't even know how to feel about that. Um, I wouldn't be very hyped. I'd be like, oh, okay, I would hope it worked out, obviously. Um, but I just, I feel like, right, again, I feel like they need a bigger body that they're going to actually use, too. Not just a bigger body to have around, not just a bigger body to block, but just a bigger body that they're actually going to use uh, as well. Now, a sort of follow-up to that previous question it came from my guy d3 he said judge patterns not people uh what's good engraving the team keep it clean i hope all is well with you and yours i have a few observations that i wanted to share with you and get your opinion on uh jaylen Oma davis has been a healthy scratch for several consecutive games do you believe that he will be this year's stash candidate or are the ravens regretting drafting him already um i just think they just saw the struggles man i think they just saw the struggles and were like you know what no nah. Um, Daryl Worley, come back. Uh, Jalen Alma Davis, no. Um, Marcus Peters, healthy. Marlon Humphrey, Brandon Stevens, uh, Pepe Williams, and then Worley. And they like, you know what? Because cause he, was, he was struggling big time. Um, do I think they regret drafting him? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, it is super early in his career. Uh, but... Yeah, he just, I think with the struggles early on, they were like, you know what, we can, we're going to go in a different direction for now uh, at cornerback because we got some other options. Now, his next question. Here we go. This is the one. He said, why do the Ravens get slash keep wide receivers that are around 5, 10, 6 feet tall, even though larger wide receivers like the undrafted free agents we brought in and cut are what we need to help with our red zone insufficiencies? Hmm. We saw what Shamar Bridges did in preseason with the jump ball. I love this question. Because, yeah, that's real right there, man. Um, and, and that's, again, the same thing I was talking about. Bigger receiver, bigger catch radius, bigger target. Uh, it makes it easier for Lamar. Um, gives them more opportunities in a red with the jump ball. Because, I mean, you can throw the jump ball to a 5'10 receiver. And I'm not saying that they, know they won't go up and get it. Like a, look at guys like Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, like what, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, I don't know how tall Tyreek Hill is, but he will fly up and go get it. But everybody ain't Tyreek Hill. Um, and man, I just just watching too. I watching the highlights from that Dolphins and, and Lions game. All Tua got to do, straight, just throw it down the field. That's all he got to do. He got Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. They both go run and get it. And they both like. I think Tyreek Hill is number one, and Jalen Waddle is like number four in receiving yards. This, anyway, we ain't gonna talk about that. We we'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, man. Uh, a, a bit again. Mark Andrews. You see what Mark Andrews has done and does. In the red zone, I'm not even just in the red zone. <laughs> From the zero to the zero yard line. From one end zone to the other. You see what Mark Andrews does for Lamar. Why not have another one like that? Um, he also said, are we wasting Benjamin... V oh, I guess this, this was a follow-up to his previous question. Because he said, are we wasting Benjamin Victor in his 6'5 frame? Just like we did Antoine Wesley before he went to Arizona. The Ravens love big blocking wide receivers like Boykin, but won't invest in them. Just to piggyback off the previous question. Yeah, Benjamin Victor's been there. But he ain't going to get no opportunity. He's not. Um, I never thought he would. Uh, especially, like, he's not. Um, he's just there as a backup as sort of security uh, at wide receiver, just in case. But, I mean, we've seen, even with... What proves that Benjamin Victor is not going to get an opportunity? Rashad Bateman went out. Rashad Bateman has been down. James Prochet, he's missed games. Um, but what did they do? Um, they brought in Deshaun Jackson. They brought in Andy Isabella. Did Benjamin Victor get called up at all? Nope. Nope. They signed Bailey Gaither to the practice squad. They, they did all these roster moves at wide receiver on the practice squad. But none of them were calling up uh, Benjamin Victor. 
Uh, and he said, uh, again, thanks for the hard work in producing, recording, editing, and uploading your must-see content. Peace and blessings, D3. I appreciate you, man. Next question came from Goth Kid. He said, what position would you play if you were an NFL player? Love the Ravens and love the show and the community. I appreciate it because that, that's what it's about, really, the uh, the community. Um, just trying to, trying to do stuff for, for other people um, so they can sort of get a break from everything that be going on in, in the, uh, the day-to-day lives and whatnot. Just... Come out and just chill and talk football, but have fun with it too. Not, not anything too serious. But anyway, um, position I would play, I would want to either play inside linebacker or cornerback or safety. One of those three. Inside linebacker, cornerback, or safety. I, I, I would want to play on defense. I remember, um, I remember growing up, I remember in, uh, in high school. Man, high school was just high school was crazy uh, because I, I didn't really love football back then. Didn't didn't love it. Uh, I think if if I would have loved football like I do now, um, then I think my entire life would have been much different. I'm, I'm but I'm glad that I didn't love football like I do now. I'm glad things worked out the way that they did. Um, but and I remember I remember in high school. I went, my mom, she took me to the mall because I wanted to try out for the football team. She took me to the mall, bought cleats, uh, bought the, uh, what else I bought? Cleats. I think I bought a mouth guard. Um, bought everything. All the gear and all that. Um, so then she's like, all right, you, you going to do this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to do it. So whenever it was time for football practice, well, no, not even practice because they hadn't even made the team yet. Um, but like the trials and stuff, uh, we were just running back and doing sprints back and forth across the field and whatnot. Um, I used to look forward. I, I used to look more forward to uh, getting Gatorade and pizza after that was over than the actual practice than the actual trials. So my, my head was not in it at all. And then back then, I was, it was high school, so I just I was, I was just worried about the girls and worried about the food. I, I wasn't worried about football like that. Um, and then. In high school too, like we used to play, uh, we used to play street football a lot. Me and my, me and my, all my friends in the neighborhood. Um, and when we used to play street football, when we'd be in the street, we'd be playing two hand touch. It's like, all right, cool, da, 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 that was fun. But then when they would go to play uh, tackle, initially I was a little scared. I was like, ugh, oh y'all playing a tackle? Y'all playing tackle? Ah, that's, that's cool. I, I, I stay home. I stay home. But then when I finally did go to play tackle with them. Um, after that first like tackle, that first hit, I was like, "Oh, okay, whoa, this, this ain't so bad. It ain't so bad." And, and, and then I liked it, and, and then ended up loving it from there, um, and just fell in love more and more uh, over the course of time. Um, so just a little little fun fact or whatever. But yeah, now it, it would be it would definitely be linebacker, corner, or safety. Question on this episode also came from a patron, my guy Harry. He said, "Ain't graven in, in the team, keep it clean family." It's my first time commenting this year, just because I was trying to be patient and not get too emotional with my thoughts. It's okay, baby. Let them emotions fly, man. It's all good. But anyway, he said, "We know we have flaws and holes on the team, but what team doesn't?" That's true. Maybe the Bills, but anyway. Um, he said, uh, I think the Ravens have several moves they could do before the trade deadline, but feel they won't do. I would love for the Ravens to trade for two receivers. Jerry Judy would be my first choice, and I would be willing to swap picks, maybe send them our second round pick, and they give us their fourth round pick. Uh, send a player like Nick Boyle and James Prochet to get him. Uh, with him and Lamar growing up together and being boys, that could only help, just like when Josh Allen got digs. Um, it could help. Uh, no Jerry Judy He ain't Diggs right now Jerry Judy's cool Jerry Judy is uh, I think he'll be very dangerous uh, In a bad way with the Ravens um, Cause we talked about this before uh, With Jerry Judy uh, He do got Sometimes he got the case of the dropsies um, But in Ravens offense it The volume Since the volume The passing volume is so low Drops And it's, it's so much emphasis Placed on everything that much more um, so if, if he got the drops, then th there wouldn't be many opportunities going his way to make up for those drops. That would be the only thing I would be scared of. And that's part of, um, the evolving of the offense I would love to see. But again, Ravens have their philosophy, so I wouldn't really expect it. Got a little blurry there. I wouldn't really expect it to change, but hey, I wouldn't be mad at Judy though. Uh, he said, uh, I also would like to get Denzel Mims from the Jets. I'm willing to send them Tylen Wallace. Uh, I think with his size and speed, we should at least kick the tires. 
That would give us Judy Bateman, Duvernay with Mims. Oh, you mean get both? Oh, you, you, oh, you really trying to step out there? You know, oh, you. I mean, at least you did say earlier on. You said, um, I, I got. I think the Ravens have several moves they could do before the trade deadline, but feel they won't do. You know, I mean, it'd be crazy if they trade for one receiver, but trade for two. Ooh. <laughs> but anyway, he said, um, yeah, that would give us Judy Bateman and Duvernay with Mims, Robinson and Jackson as their backups. That that be something right there, bro. He said, plus Andy Isabella on the practice squad. I would like to see us sign uh, Tyler Johnson, who was released from the Texans. Oh yeah, the Bucks t just picked him up like an hour ago from when I'm recording this. Uh, Cause I'm recording this on October 34th. First, it's 11:41. So yeah, Bucks just they signed him to their practice squad like an hour ago. Um, unless I'm thinking of a different Tyler, because it's, it's this one dude named Tyler Johnson and this another guy named. Are they both named Tyler Johnson? It's two receivers that they keep going back and forth. They were just on the same team like a couple days ago. I forgot what the names are, though. Anyway, he said, I also think we might need a running back just because I don't know the status of Gus Edwards and Dobbins isn't coming back until the end of the season. Um, I love Drake and Hill, but we need another running back. Mike Davis is not a good running back, and I would like, a trade, like to trade for Khalil Herbert. I would send them a fifth round pick. With all of this, we still have holes at linebacker and cornerback. Hopefully, we can have players step up. I also believe if we did this, we could focus on drafting a left tackle and upgrading our defense. Oh, you want to draft a left tackle? See, that, that's, that's tricky territory right there. Because we are obviously Ronnie Stanley's there. He ain't going nowhere. Um, but then he got his health. Hopefully, he'll be good to go moving forward. But you just don't know. Uh, so stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, right? But anyway, they said our, our offense should be straight for years to come if we did this. Oh, <laughs> if. I think the offense could get better shift in what they do and how they do it. But I think that would be the biggest fix right there for their offense. The biggest change that could benefit them. Um, he said, also, I think Harbaugh and Roman should be replaced. Oh, well, there goes the philosophy right there. Uh, I think Harbaugh has proven that he is below average as a coach and that he's living off the 2012 Super Bowl. Greg Roman has shown that he is not going to evolve as a play caller and needs to go. Sorry, this was more of a rant or venting session than a question. It's all good. That's what it's here for, baby. Let it out. Let it all out, man. Um, but, hey, we, we'll see how the season goes. But... Again, as long as Harbaugh is here, and Harbaugh is cool, as long as Giro is here, Giro cool, but as long as they're here, the philosophy is not going anywhere. Yeah, this feels like a dream, and you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. Shout out to Graven.